Virginia. And this is my husband, Bud. I grew up in Otter Lake. That's where we're building our house. And I grew up on a small farm. I'm the product of um, a missionary family. Grew up out overseas. Um, 14 years of my life. Went over when I was two years old. I spoke a foreign language. Came back over here. It was just a cultural shock for me. And my dad says, if you don't start talking without an accent, kids are going to make fun of you. Well, it didn't take very long, and I was talking the way everybody else did. But it gave me a new outlook on life and uh, how the social, people are more social a lot of times in, with different countries. They're close-knit families um, versus being more independent and over here. But great experience. Took care of my dad for... Uh, the last few months of his life as a full-time caregiver, and that was a very awesome experience, spent, spending some quality time to, with my dad. My mom's so. at the farm by herself. She's been there. Um, I, my dad's been gone 16 years, and um, mom and I had taken along. Um, I had to take her down to Gregory, Michigan, um, to say goodbye to some friends that were moving. And we were on the way back, and just out of the blue, my mom said, when are you guys coming out to the farm? She said, I'm tired of being out there by myself. And um, I came home and I mentioned it to Bud, and next thing I knew, we were purging our house and putting it on the market. So, within a month, we had it on the market, and uh, it just snowballed from there. I think the first time he came out, I mean, he saw the the field, which was not planted yet, and it was just an empty canvas. He basically just said come up with something. <laughs> I guess we just trusted him because he, he sat down, he only told us the story, his background, stuff like that. Um, but then he, um, you know, we gave him a list of what we wanted, like, mm -hmm. you know, slide and stuff like that. I think that was, was that before the Lazy River came about or be, the very first time he came out? I think the Lazy River came out the second time. Yeah, I don't think we talked about the Lazy River. Yeah, because the second time he came out, the field was now corn and you couldn't see nothing. <laughs> It's like there was no, yeah. couldn't, couldn't visualize anything because it was all corn. But um, after I, watching all those videos, I think we felt like we did know him and we were kind of, at least I was a little well, taken back we, because yeah. he's like a celebrity. <laughs> and I know, remember when I called and somebody said, Well, Al's kind of like a celebrity around here. He, he says, and I, He's a celebrity pool guy. And I said, Well, I'm the celebrity heating guy. <laughs> But, so, I mean, we're all down-to-earth people. It's like, uh, but just standing out, being out there standing in your field without being a farmer, you know? <laughs> we kind of, I guess we felt that the list we gave him, I think by the time he left, we felt comfortable enough that he would take what we wanted. We knew he could do it. We saw videos. We knew he could do it. And just, you know, give us something that um, we could run, run with, basically. Yeah. I mean, we were... We were comfortable. I don't think we had any, I don't think we've ever had any really real hesitation. About somebody being creative, that's uh, that's what we want. We want something different, unique, just go with what your Easy. thoughts and feels will give you some input. Um, but ultimately, yeah, we don't want cookie cutter.
was available. This was really cool. And Vera came across your website. I, well, I Googled pool builders in Michigan and our site came up. And I said, what do you think of this? And then he started watching all the videos and that's where it snowballed with the pool thing. Then we got the bug. <laughs> <laughs> so it went from just a house to a house in a pool. Yeah, let's do this. No, let's do that. Wow, it got the, the project <laughs> got more expansive every time we start talking about it. And, um, and uh, we haven't lost interest since we first stopped, started thinking about it. Like a house is being built in an open field. So it was like, you know, a blank slate for elves. He probably went over there twice a day while the pond was being dug. <laughs> just not only just, just to make sure he was doing what we requested, but he just enjoyed watching them. Enjoyed, you know, and then he'd come home and you think, boy, it's a lot of work. You know, <laughs> it's like, so um, I think he enjoyed, I think he enjoyed the process. And mm -hmm. I think he's, he's talked about, he can't wait till the house starts getting dug and the pool starts being dug because he can go over there and he wants to enjoy the process. So. It's not just, you know, hey, build me a house and we'll see you when it's done, you know, kind of thing. It's getting, waiting for the hole to be dug. <laughs> It'll all probably hit us if it's really happening, because right now it's just a game of people. Through the lazy river? You swim into the grotto. This right. is an enclosed space with seats and stuff in it, okay. or you float Underneath into another, a, a separate cave. Uh -huh. So these. And we're average, you know, we're blue collar, uh, down to earth um, business uh, people. You know, we have a lot of family that work for us as well. And uh, we don't like the real fancy um, type of decor. We want something that's livable and usable and fun and, and just comfortable all the way around. If he was standing, he would be how tall did Darren say? Yeah. 
looking up above the tire to the up, just to out the dock yard and put it standing. Well, I wouldn't know about the lifestyles of the rich and famous, but I can navigate the lazy river pool. I'm trying to catch up with my mermaids. A ping pong table, that's awesome. This water is so nice. It is warm. It is. No, Lori, I do not need our pool right now. <laughs> Thank you. 